Hi, this is Carl. I'm a first year nursing student and I'll be performing parenteral drug administration for this video. So, other than enteral drug administration or giving drugs through the digestive tract, there's also what we call parenteral drug administration or giving drugs through injections and infusions. So, I'll be performing intradermal, subcutaneous, and intramuscular injections. So, the first thing that I need to do is to check for the physician's order or the MAR or the medication administration record for the drug name, the dosage, the route of administration and how frequent it is given. So the first thing that I need to do is to wash my hands first before meeting the client. So Hi, good day. My name is Carl. Um, I'm a student nurse. So may I know your full name, please? Okay, so when is your birthday? How old are you? Alright, so how do you want to follow you? Alright, so this is the photo. I'll be administering your drug for today that is through the parenteral route. So I'll be closing the curtains for your privacy. Alright, so I already prepared your medication earlier in this syringe together with the medication card for verification of correct dosage and correct drug in this hypodermic tray. So I hope you're feeling comfortable right now. So are you ready? Okay, so Alright, Mr. Tatoro, the first one will be a tuberculin purified protein derivative or PPD skin test to help diagnose for tuberculosis. So, this injection will make a small wheel or what we call a blood, but you don't have to worry about that, that is completely normal. So, um, while they're prepared, we have any questions or clarifications. Alright, and so I'll just be wearing my gloves to prevent cross contamination between the two of us. Alright, so I'll be inspecting for. The injection site now. Uh, may I see your forearm, please? Alright. I see that your forearm is free of lesion. Good. And there are no bruising as well, so I'll be using your forearm as the injection site. Okay. So I'll take an alcohol swab and disinfect the area in a outwards circular motion. So I'll grab a dry cotton ball now and prepare it for later for pat drying the air. So while I wait for it to air dry, I'll be removing the cap of the needle and placing it on the proper receptacle. I'll be making sure that the bevel of the needle is pointing upwards for smooth entry of the needle into your skin. So since this is an intradermal injection, I will be advancing the needle just below the epidermis or 5 to 15 degree angle. Right, so I'll be stretching your skin or cut to make uh, the entry of the needle easier and more stabilized. So I'll be inserting the needle now. All right. Okay, so I'll be advancing the solution. Okay, so what we see here is what we call the blood that I told you earlier. So I'll be removing the needle and engage safety on the needle and the syringe. I'll be pat drying the injection site with a dry cotton ball. All right, so I'll be placing the needle on the proper receptacle. And this time I'll be marking the blood and I want you to not erase it so that I will be able to locate it later for monitoring. All right. So we're done. Um, I'll just be documenting the uh, the procedure and the medication, and I'll be with, I'll be back in thirty minutes for monitoring. All right. All right. So, Mister Doctor, your next medication will be given through subcutaneous injection. So, your physician ordered you with seven thousand five hundred units of heparin. So we had available 10,000 units per milliliters of this medication. So I'll be administering you with 0 0.75 milliliters of heparin. So this medication is an anticoagulant injection. So this reduces the ability, the clotting ability of your blood, which uh, the side effects may include redness, itching, irritation, and pain. So when inspecting, your arms and thighs are really small. So I'll be inspecting for your abdomen for any skin lesions or bruising. 
All right, so there are no skin lesions. I'll be palpating for your abdomen now for any tenderness. All right, so no tenderness is found. I'll be checking for the uh, for the site and the length of the needle. I'll be pinching your abdomen. All right, so the length of the needle is right about half of the fold. So I'll be using your abdomen as the injection site, so I hope you're comfortable with that. I'll be cleaning your abdomen now with a cotton swab. This is half of all in it. I'll be doing it in a circular outwards motion. All right, so while I prepare the syringe, do um, you have any questions or clarifications? All right, so I'll take a dry cotton ball and the tape and prepare it for later. All right, so I'll be removing the needle cap and place it on the receptacle. Okay, so I'll be making sure that the bevel of the needle is pointing upwards. Great, so I'll hold the needle and the syringe at a like a dart so it would be more stabilized. All right, so I'll pinch your abdomen. Okay, so since this is a subcutaneous injection, I'll be doing this in a 45 degree angle. I'll be inserting the needle. All right, I'll be inserting the needle now. Okay. I'll be pushing the medication and quickly remove the needle. So I'll be applying pressure using the cotton swab. All right. and avoid massaging the area. All right, so I'll be placing the needle in a proper receptacle now. All right, so I'll be documenting the time and the, the drug name of the medication. So I'll see you next time for the next medication. So for the meantime, make yourself comfortable, right? All right, so Mr. Totoro, your physician also ordered you with five milligrams of morphine sulfate for relief of moderate to severe pain. So um, the available stock for this medication is five milligrams per milliliter. So I'll be administering you with one milliliter of morphine sulfate. Side effects may include vomiting, nausea, or sweating. So upon inspecting for injection site, um, your ventral gluteal or your right hip is ideal for injection site since it has more muscle mass. So I'll be inspecting for your skin around that area. All right, no lesions found, no bruising as well. Okay, so now I'll be palpating for any tenderness on that area. Tenderness might not be suitable for intramuscular injection. Right, so no tenderness is found. I'll be assisting you to a side lying position now so I'd have a better surface area of the injection site. Okay, so I'll be disinfecting the site with an alcohol swab in an upward circular motion. And I'll be preparing a dry cotton ball in between my third and fourth finger for applying pressure later. Okay, so to look for the injection site at your ventral gluteal um, area, uh, I'll be placing the heel of my hand over the greater trochanter, perpendicular to the femur, and pointing my thumb towards your groin, my index finger towards your anterior superior iliac spine, and my middle finger along the iliac crest towards the body. So my middle finger and my index finger is forming a triangle, and in the center of the triangle it will be the injection site. So I'm taking my syringe and holding the syringe like a dart at a 90 degree angle since it is an intramuscular injection. Okay, so I'll be advancing the needle now. Right. So first, I'll be aspirating 
by pulling the plunger, checking for blood, or else I will be removing the needle. Alright, so I'll be injecting one milliliter of morphine sulfate now. Okay, I'll be removing a needle and place the cotton ball on the side and engage safety on the needle. Okay, so I'll be putting the needle and the syringe on a proper receptacle and apply pressure on the side. Okay, so I'll be taping the cotton ball swab. Alright, so I'll be assisting you to a comfortable position now. Alright. So I'll be documenting for the um, drug administered for the time and the dosage of the drug. Okay, so Mr. Totoro, you have been a wonderful patient. Thank you for cooperating. And if you need anything, just call me and use the nurse's call button. And I'll see you next time, alright?